Vice President Kamala Harris is making significant strides toward securing the Democratic nomination for the 2024 presidential election. Following President Joe Biden's exit and endorsement of his vice president, a wave of support has surged through the party. Key governors from must-win states such as Michigan, Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Illinois have publicly backed Harris, making her the clear frontrunner. In a remarkable show of support, Harris's campaign announced a record-breaking $81 million raised within 24 hours, fueled by enthusiastic grassroots donors. This unprecedented fundraising haul underscores the excitement and momentum behind Harris's candidacy. With endorsements from prominent governors and influential groups, the Democratic Party is uniting behind Harris. The next big question? Who will she choose as her running mate? Could The Simpsons be the modern-day Nostradamus? The long-running TV show is being hailed once again for its uncanny predictions, this time for foreseeing Kamala Harris's vice presidential inauguration outfit in an episode from the year 2000. In Bar to the Future, Lisa Simpson is depicted as the first female president, donning an ensemble remarkably similar to Harris's, complete with matching accessories. Al Jean, one of the prominent writers of The Simpsons, took to social media to acknowledge the prediction, expressing pride in the show's foresight. But this isn't the only instance where the animated series has eerily predicted the future. From hinting at Donald Trump's presidency 16 years before it happened, to showcasing an Apple smartwatch-like device back in 1995, and even parodying Siegfried and Roy's tiger mishap, The Simpsons has a history of making stunningly accurate predictions. Secret Service Director Kimberly Cheetle faced intense grilling from lawmakers over a shocking security breach that led to an assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump. During a highly charged congressional hearing, Cheetle admitted that her agency failed in its mission to protect Trump. On July 13, a gunman scaled a roof and opened fire at a campaign rally in Butler, Pennsylvania. Cheetle described the incident as the most significant operational failure in decades and pledged as move heaven and earth to prevent a repeat. She revealed that the Secret Service had received multiple warnings about a suspicious person before the attack and had identified the roof as a potential threat days prior. Despite calls for her resignation from both Republican and Democratic lawmakers, Cheetle remained defiant, asserting that she is the right person to lead the Secret Service. She took full responsibility for the lapses but refused to step down, sparking further controversy. The recently released bodycam footage by the Sangamon County Sheriff's Office shows the tragic fatal police shooting of 36-year-old Sonia Massey, a black woman who had called 911 for help. The 36-minute video, made public by Illinois State Police, captures the tense moments leading up to the shooting. In the early hours of July 6, Deputy Sean Grayson and another officer arrived at Massey's home in Springfield after she reported a possible prowler. The footage shows a calm conversation until Massey moves to turn off a pot of boiling water. When she picks up the pot, the other deputy steps back, saying, away from your hot steaming water. Massey responds with, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. The situation escalates quickly as Grayson, feeling threatened, draws his firearm and yells at Massey to drop the pot. The video captures the horrifying moment when three shots are fired, resulting in Massey's death. The aftermath shows the deputies calling for EMS, with Grayson remarking about the potential danger from the boiling water. This tragic incident has led to murder charges against Deputy Grayson and has sparked outrage and calls for justice. Abdul Duke Afaka, the last surviving founding member of the iconic Motown group The Four Tops, has passed away at the age of 88. Farka, who retired from the group earlier this year, died of heart failure at his home in Detroit on Monday, July 22. In a heartfelt statement to the Detroit Free Press, his family expressed their deep sorrow, our hearts are heavy as we mourn the loss of a trailblazer, icon, and music legend who, through his 70-year music career, touched the lives of so many. As the last living founding member of the iconic for tops, we find solace in Duke's legacy living on through his music for generations to come. The Four Tops, originally formed in 1953 and first known as the Four Ames, changed their name to avoid confusion with the Ames brothers. They signed with Motown in 1964, where they became pivotal in defining the Motown sound alongside other legendary acts like the Miracles, the Marvelettes, Martha and the Vandellas, the Temptations, and the Supremes. Between 1964 and 1967, the four tops achieved 11 top 20 singles and two number one hits, including their timeless classics, I Can't Help Myself, Sugar Pie Honey Bunch, and Reach Out I'll Be There. 
Their other memorable songs include A Baby I Need Your Loving, Standing in the Shadows of Love, Bernadette, and I Just Ask the Lonely. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates hit the bell icon to stay notified of our latest videos.